So we are delighted to reconnect with Aldana and Steve are with us from the Archdiocese of Boston Theological in uh, Institute for the New Evangelizations. Uh, always so great to have you with us, Aldana. And Steve, great to have you with us as well. Thank you. Welcome it's great to, to Catholic be here, TV. Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, great to have you here. Uh, I know you'll be leaving the Institute, Steve, uh, for a new assignment for our great friends out in St. Louis. Um, but before you go, how would you encourage people in New England to pursue studies in the Theological Institute? Well, you know, Jay, we, we live uh, here in the Boston area. We have a lot of opportunities for education. But for a Catholic who wants to engage in study of the faith, I think we our programs offer some distinct advantages. First of all, they are very comprehensive. If you come to the Theological Institute, you're going to get a very thorough exposure to all the different elements of Catholic theology, scripture, uh, Christology, ecclesiology, moral theology. Um, it's not like a, a master's program where you can kind of just pick and choose. Oh, I think I'll take a class on the Gospel of Mark and then um, bioethics. You're going to get all of the basics and then some good electives as well. Second point, uh, holistic formation. Uh, we aren't just concerned with forming the mind. We uh, focus on spiritual, human, and apostolic formation, both for our ministry students and those who are in the MTS program getting a, a degree, a, a more academic degree, but nevertheless, uh, our formation is holistic. Third point, um, we teach according to the heart and mind of the church. If you come to us, you're going to get authentic Catholic theology. Um, and lastly, uh, a lot of our students end up working in parishes and other institutions in the Boston Archdiocese. and. They're being formed according to the same model that's used at St. John's Seminary. We're part of the seminary, and so our lay students, as well as the, the deacons and religious who take classes with us, are uh, getting the same type of formation, and in some cases studying under the same teachers as the men in the seminary. So when you get into the parish, pastoral associate, deacon, priest, they've all had uh, comparable formation. Now, Aldon, I know that you were Oh, at the beginning, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just pop up out of here. <laughs> You've been there since the beginning for the Master of Arts in Ministry program, and uh, you know we were in the first class. But uh, maybe talk about um, that journey, and maybe some of the new offerings the Master of Arts in Ministry program has. Yeah. So, Master of Arts in Ministry has been around for thir for 19 years. Next year would be the 20th wow. that the seminary has been offering uh, lay formation. Um, now under the umbrella of the Theological Institute. So we have our two degrees, the Master of Arts in Ministry and the MTS. We have the certificate program, and we continue to do a lot of ongoing education. So we're, we're offering, for instance, um, we continue our summer biblical series in June, which was started by Celia Sirois, oh, yeah. um, who did it for 10 years. This is our 11th year of the summer biblical. We're offering, continuing to offer bereavement uh, workshops. So on May, fir May 2nd, we have our um, bereavement workshop on God and cancer. So we invite our viewers to join us for that if you can. So we continue ongoing uh, education. We have a bioethics speaker series. And this summer, we're offering a bioethics course for the, for the first time. Right. Um, in a while, so uh, we're, we're looking to see what our professional um, Catholics need, what, what kind of further education, what questions do they have. So the bioethics seems to be a very important field, and um, we're offering that this summer. We're offering um, Ministry of Consolation. We're continuing mm -hmm. Father Terrence Curley's yeah, work in bereavement. So we have uh, Fran Hawk. Um, from West Roxbury, Holy Name, uh, a woman who's been in the field of uh, consolation, ministry of consolation, bereavement work. She worked with Father Terrence, so we'll be offering that course. I'll be w teaching with her. You right. know. You know, in today's world, which it just seems to be spinning out of control, um, Steve, can you tell me why it's so important that that we have lady who are who are learning more about their faith and getting advanced degrees uh, in a world like we have today? Well, Jay, I think uh, really there's two important reasons for laity to, to get degrees and, and for our existence as a theological institute. First of all, um, 
priests and deacons can't do all the work in ministry alone, mm -hmm. and there's a, a, a pressing need for lay people to assist in parishes and in other venues, whether it's at, in a paid position as a pastoral associate or helping with CCD as a, as a teacher, a confirmation teacher. And to do that work, it's vital to know the faith well. You can't hand on what you don't understand yourself. So for the purposes of ministry in the church, it's essential. But also, even if you don't sense a call to some sort of formalized ministry in the church, every Catholic, by virtue of his or her baptism and confirmation, is called to spread the faith. Vatican II, in its decree on the apostolate of the laity, reminded us that we are all called to be, as, as the, the document put it, we're to bring the leaven of the gospel to the temporal order. In other words, to bring Christ's truth and his teachings into the secular world. And we have students in our program who are doctors, nurses, lawyers, who want to have a thorough knowledge of the faith so as to be able to imbue their workplace, their family life, with the spirit of the gospel. And I'll done, I know for people too that are, are, are watching who might say they might not have time for it too. They're, they're, you can take as much time as you want within a certain amount of time, but uh, they can work it in their schedules and it doesn't have to be a head, you know, a, a headstrong type of two year program. Right, right. Yeah. right. You, can, you can study at your own pace. For instance, this summer, we, our courses, our two courses in um, bioethics and, and the Ministry of Consolation will start at the last week of May and go for seven weeks. One night, come in one night for three hours, six to nine, that's it. Uh -huh. Seven weeks, you're done. Uh, the the um, Theology of the Body, Dr. Angela Franks will be teaching it, will be in August, two weeks. So Monday through Thursday for two weeks and it's done, you know. Um, so it's a wonderful opportunity. We're still um, interviewing potential applicants. It's not too late to consider applying for the program. All this information is on the website of the seminary. So um, whether it's our free summer biblical or our speaker series in bioethics, our summer courses, our bereavement, uh, you know, uh, God and Cancer workshop coming up. Please join us. So there's a lot going on. There's so is that the best place to go? Is to to go to the Saint seminary, John's seminary website. website. Look for the tab that says Theological Institute. And you can find out everything. All that information is there. Do you know what I've always liked about the program too? Is you constantly there's emails going up, but it's a whole community because not only and and we were there at the beginning. Yeah. Um, but still, you have prayer requests going out. You talk about job openings that mm -hmm. are going on. Is it a, is it a community, a close-knit community? It is. Um, at our last open house, our panelists were graduates, and one of the, what kept repeating, each one of them said they felt it was a family, when mm. they were a family experience, people supportive. When we're hoping that the experience of education reflects good ministry skills. It's not comp competition. It's not, you know, cutthroat, like I have the answer and I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Instead, it's all about building up church together, learning about God, uh, bec going into uh, developing that special relationship with Christ, you know, and, and learning all about Christ and our church and understanding it better. What was your favorite class? <laughs> the one I taught. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I mean graduating class. Oh, Is it true that it was Bonnie, class. Kevin, and my class? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, of course, and Kevin is now falling out of bar bars and rolling on the ground. I didn't learn that in the program. I learned that on my own. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Eldona, thank you so much. Steve, thank you so much for being with us today. And one more time, to find out information, where do they go? Go to the website of St. John Seminary, find the Theological Institute tab, and it's all there. Always a pleasure to have you on, and Steve, Thank such you. a pleasure. Welcome to Catholic TV. Thank